Hello everyone and welcome back to part 10 on how to create this simulator game in Roblox. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to save the player's pets when they leave and rejoin. So yeah, let's get right into it. So, when we join the game, what we firstly see is... Uh, so we have in our player object, we have a pets folder. And when you go ahead and get some pets when you go ahead and do get some pets so if i buy this it adds a string value inside of the sorry an int value inside of the player so to, to fix this what we're going to do is we want to save the pets so firstly go to your game settings so home game settings and make sure that in security uh, enable studio access to api services is checked and now you want to go to your data store script and what we're going to do is so we have our data store what we're going to do is inside of here we'll put data store con set async layer dot user id dot dot and a hyphen and we're gonna send like for example pets and put a comma player dot uh actually we're gonna send a table so we're gonna send saved pets now we don't have this table yet so we're gonna create it right now so on top here we're gonna create a table so local saved pets is equal to and an empty table and before before we do this we will loop through the player's pets so for i comma v in pairs player dot pets gonna get children do what we're gonna do is we will put table dot insert and save the pets comma v dot name and make sure you do v dot name not v so yeah and we will put yeah that's it and we send a table and inside of our player added event we will put gems data instead of doing this we will create a, another variable up here so a comma and we will put uh pets data and we will do pets data is equal to a data store con get async and player dot user id dot dot and hyphen space then hyphen then pets so like we named it over here yes and in here we'll do for i comma v in pairs uh pets data do uh local value or pet value pet value is equal to instance dot new and we're gonna create a string value and we're gonna parent it to the player dot folder dot pets and we will do pet value pet value dot name now we're gonna set it to v and yeah that should be it and now if you go ahead and join the game and buy some pets and leave it should give you the pets all right so let's go ahead and buy some pets so if we go to our player object if we go to pets it's empty right now because we just added the data store if we go ahead and buy this and we have it equipped if we go ahead and leave the game We don't have any errors, I think. Yes, it's printed saved. And if you go ahead and rejoin, it should save the pets still. And as you can see, we still have the pet. And when we go ahead and equip it, oh, it we don't have to buy it, but it says buy, so we gotta fix that. Alright, so to fix this. I think the best way of doing this, it's not really the best way, but inside of our pets 
or main script. Uh, oh, that's a lot of uh, quotes. That's a lot of lines. Okay, so inside of here, we'll firstly do if you don't know is equal equal to equip. So we will check if player dot pets can find first child v dot name then or for example if there is all right so if we find v dot name uh what we're gonna do is first i want to see the way we were doing this okay so in here we'll do v dot name then we'll do v v dot like it and dot name all right so uh, i think we should do v dot by pet dot text is equal to equip and in here we'll put if player can find your child and v dot by pet dot parent dot name then we're gonna do that so if you go ahead and join the game this time i really hope this works uh it should say equip so it says, says bye for some reason let's check why so i think is this inside of a mouse button one click event yes that's why so just remove this and put this right here And now, if you go ahead and play the game, I'm pretty sure it should say equip. And it still says bye. Hmm. Oh, wait. Did we do something wrong here? Let's pull. V dot by pet dot text is equal to equip. Uh, if you want to frame the player dot pets, or I should put my parent dot name, or let's just put v dot name, v dot name instead. Let's see if this works. All right, so it still says, uh, oh, I have an idea. Instead of doing this, uh, whenever they touch the part that opens this, open shop, open pet shop, what we're gonna do is we'll loop through the uh, Firecon V in pairs, pets frame, uh, can't wait for, shall I just copy this? Paste it here and drop a line. And what we will, type is um if we can use a frame so let's copy this then we'll copy this and we should be good to go let me just remove this from my command bar i was just messing around with some stuff okay so let's see if this works and as you can see, it says equip. We don't have to unequip to uh, buy anymore. And yeah, I think this is going to be it for today's tutorial. Oh, wait, it's not going to be it for today's tutorial. We still have some bugs. Well, actually, that's not a bug. Or is it? Yeah, it's not a bug, we just gotta fix this. Or it's actually a bug. Sorry, that's what I wanted to say. So, what we're gonna do... Is... We will... Um, check... If... 
uh, player dot. Let's go to our main server script, and instead of here, we'll see the way we were equipping the pet. So where is the function that equips the pet? Dot parent is equal to. So we parent the pet to the player's pets. Equip pet with armor part. Let me go ahead and play the game. Thinks better. So when we join the game, when we go to our folder, we don't have any pets folder or anything. So if you go ahead and equip a pet, for some reason I can't open the shop. Oh, so I think, yeah, I think I know how to fix this. Inside of our script, we'll check if player dot pets for side dv dot name and uh, not player dot character dot character confined first child child uh, v dot name. Then we're gonna say equip. So else if uh, player dot pets confined first child v dot name and player dot character confined first child v dot name, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do v dot by pet dot text is equal to uh, text is equal to and we'll set it to equipped or uh, unequip unequip and now if you go ahead and play the game it should work this time hopefully Alright, so we load it in. If we go ahead and touch this, so it says equip and equip. But if we say if we equip it, it says unequip. And if we, yeah, that's pretty much fixed. So that's really cool. Now we have saved the patch. We did a lot of progress. We made a lot of progress. I mean, uh, what we need, I think, is a upgrade shop, which we will do in the next tutorial, and maybe a tool shop or something. But I'm planning to make another similar series, I think. A, another type of similar series. And yeah, if this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!